Defensively, Korshinsky is very interesting to me, Johnny. And a guy that I want to spare, share my, my spicy take that I had with you about him. And he's a very balanced defenseman, truly two way. Like he, he looks good in the offensive zone. He looks comfortable. He's the type of kid that developed correctly. He's going to be a power play quarterback and a true power play quarterback, not a shot at Duncan Keith and his time here, but he was never really a true power play quarterback. He could run a power play and do it just fine, but he didn't fit that traditional style, right? right. He wasn't a Chris Letang or a John Carlson mm-hmm. who commands the blue line. Kruczynski seems to do that even at the junior level. Johnny, in today's NHL, I saw a, on one of the other YouTube videos that uh, I believe it's Wolf Hockey was the name of the of the YouTube channel. Um, they broke it down and he and they said that he, he, stylistically he seems like Rasmus Dahlin, and I can see it. I can see it in his game. Also reminds me a little of Shea Theodore, another today comp. Right, I believe he is the one that. Uh, Kor- yeah, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Korchinski said he yes. models his game after Shea Theodore. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, and uh, you can definitely see that in his game. But a former Blackhawk Johnny that he reminds me of, who is still in this front office, is one Brian Campbell. Mm, there you go. He gives me Brian Campbell vibes. He's a left-handed shot. He yep. plays good defense. Like a lot of people, I think, forget. Like Supi was a pretty good defender. Yeah. Like it just because he, he was known for offense, but he could defend. He could defend very well. True two-way forward or a two-way defenseman. Pardon me. He has that feel because, like, he'll he'll go into the dirty areas like Campbell used to a lot. He'll drive the rush. He'll push the pace of play. He loves. You wrote it up perfectly in the in the scouting report, right? It's they said in the professional scouts quote almost verbatim, if the if he's pushed outside, he will double back and push the pace down the middle. They want to dominate down the middle, Johnny. And again, soupy vibes. I get really big soupy vibes, and maybe that's a reason that Brian Campbell is still in this front office because they want his influence on what the system looks like from a back end talent standpoint to be able to play kind of that push up the middle game like Brian Campbell did as a player.